today I try to start to read Stanislavski, the founder of that method. And I found it so boring that I stopped immediately after <laughs> a few pages. And uh, you can, I'm, uh, let's say I have only a little, part, little similarities to the method. As I understand it, my, my uh, method is very simple. I only need silence and loneliness together by reading the script 100 to 200 times in the morning at 4 o'clock, uh, watching the kitchen floor and uh, on my mind screen try to see every detail. And repeatedly I do it and if you read a good novel and after reading it once you already know this girl or this man has never would wear yellow socks. And uh, if you read that novel, let's say, 50 times, then you know precisely uh, very, uh, a lot of things about the character. So silence, loneliness, because feeling lonely uh, triggers a little bit your emotional uh, potent, uh, potential. And uh, then mm, accumulate those emotions and save them. And like with an electrical device, everybody knows to switch it on, switch it off, switch it on, switch it off, costs most energy. So if you stand, push your own button on standby, that's nothing in my understanding, is being in character is only a standby modus. And uh, to make it easier to save energy, and to bring your little emotional eggs, which you have found yourself, to the set and transform it immediately into the scene. Save it. And therefore, no shit chat and no small talk, because uh, you are losing energy. Sometimes with sparkling, humorous uh, re Olsen, switch it off just to have a little bit fun and to joke a little bit around but uh, in general I only sometimes a little show with Lawrence and uh, being close to the camera that's the wardrobe and the camera are the most silent places and it's just a joy to watch the director and the cameraman and the DOP uh, working in silence at the set, at the camera, at the heart of it, and you sit beside the waiting there, you can be in your standby feeling, and it's nothing else but saving energy and saving emotions. And uh, I think people, one journalist asked me, are you purposefully in character staying? And I said, if I wouldn't be purposefully stay in character, these people are to be fighting in mental hospitals as Napoleons and Einsteins. <laughs>